Hi friends, welcome back. In this in this video, we are going to discuss how to how to create a AR model. So I think I think uh, we already learned enough about this space. Creation of tables, how to order details about the tables, how to create a table, how to deploy a table, how to change the vector of a table, what are the other things. So we have done. So this is a next topic where we can we can create how to create a data model. <coughs> so to create a data model, again you need to go to data builder. And data builder, you can go to the select a particular space, grab selection space. Now when we go to create select a view of your models. Okay. So if you click to your model, this is called a new entry. So you can select on all file as well. In all file, we'll having all this type of things, things like new table, graphical table, SQL view, and data model. If you go to tables, table is nothing but a create a new table, views is nothing but a graphical view and a SQL view and year model is nothing but individual sensor model. So now I'm going to create an individual sensor model for these things. So what is this? So consider I'm just selecting an individual sensor model. Okay. Now I have a list of views, what I have, and also I have a list of tables, what I already have. Okay. So first I have a transition data is nothing but your sales order. So I'm taking the sales order over here. See all the sales order are there. Now I am doing, doing the sales order items. So consider sales order items. Okay. Now I need to do a join on that. So what I will join? I am just clicking on this arrow and drop it there. So depending upon the key information, it will join it automatically. Now see there is a call tab called details. If you click on the details tab, so it will vanish. Your details will be vanished. Okay. And if you on the details tab, the detail will be available. Now it is showing you all the details about the sales order. So you can see right about this join so there's two tables where you have joined what are these things and all information now if you look into mapped so it will give you the map like like where you have joined the joining table field will be showing over here if you would like to know the maps so when it is required if you have maybe six eight or ten different mapping uh, or maybe you are joining either three or eight or nine fields so uh, or among 300 fields so it's very difficult very tedious job to find it out this three or ten or five uh, joining condition among 300 tables mainly the people who are from native other background who are familiar with HANA modeling they can understand completely like how tedious job it is so to avoid these things uh, I say we provide you the mapping tab so once you click on mapping tab it will give you all the mapping information okay the same way unmapping so unmapping information the all the rest of fields which is not mapped with each other is be, will be coming over here okay so this is a bit details about mapping and unmapping okay mm, nothing much on this so this is a joining tab or stuff now if you select on the tables a particular table then these details will show you the table so it is now currently showing you the details of the sales order is a sales order name sales order data set deployed we can see the 13 columns all those information right and what is the association that is also showing over here okay all good fine now I am just going to save it move to model 1 fine I set it the model I'll name as my model okay I'm going to save it. Once it's saved, you can go ahead and deploy it as well. So you can go ahead and deploy. Okay. See, you can reduce this font as well. It's not required to having this big, big tables. Okay. So you can have it from you can go here and there and now here see this is called auto layout so if you click on that it will doing the it will arrange up this is something like the something like the auto layout in the hana model as well so people are from hana native hana background knows like how to do auto layout and it is doing the same way now i am going to join with the business partner so i am taking the business partner drag and drop over here i am joining the business partner with sales order <coughs> see it's done and if I do it auto layout, let's say how the sales order this looks like. Okay. 
I think this business partner should be joined with sales order and this should be joined with the other way sales order items okay so now it should be the proper model sales orders and sales order items for a particular items you have multiple items right and you have a sales order now I'm going to addresses I'm bringing the address over here and this address typically joined with the business side business uh, partners so I'm joining with the business partner now that is also done so I'm reducing these things and now it's done so it looks like a linear model and that is how it works okay now let's go in details and I'm just going to check these things so in joining condition how this join happened so it's having two joining table and this address id with the address id you can say right mapped address id with the address id as all the name are very common and very clear uh, in our model so it doesn't have any system is not facing any issue they are directly uh, matching them okay so the address id is matched with the address id and the other other tables are remain unmapped okay the same way if you look into here let's select on this one this is the business partner joining with your sales order so okay business partner sales order is joining with the partner ids so it is joined this is only one single mapping if you want to map this single mapped and unmap all the rest of the fields is unmapped okay the same way if i go to these things so it is a sales order to sales order items to sales order okay then you can see the joining with the sales order id sales order id and the mapping stuff is same and on map is same so this is the way how you can doing the doing the year diagram or the year model okay so once you done with the model you just don't forget to save and once you have saved you need to deploy it uh, it is known as a year model my model and then i'm just going to deploy this my model okay so when it's deployed it will be available in a space later part of time you can do and refer this is my model Okay, fine, thank you.